<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I have been asked so many times by so many people, how do I get off of coffee? First of all, why do you want to get off of coffee? Well, because it can be extremely dehydrating. After a little while of drinking coffee, you may start to notice little fine lines around your eyes. You may feel a little dehydrated. The whole point of the raw food diet is to hydrate. We're eating everything with the moisture still in it. The more we are hydrated, the better our intestines work. The more we absorb nutrients, the lighter we feel. We want to stay hydrated. So that's one of the things with coffee. It also affects our nervous system. We want to stay calm. And it also affects our adrenals. We need our adrenals to function properly. They regulate hormones and we want to be balanced. So, so to stay in balance, I try to avoid uh, that kind of stimulant. I am going to show you the ingredients. I'm keeping this one as simple as possible. I've done many what I call tonic videos and it's my hot liquid that I drink and it enables me to stay on an all raw food diet. So it's warming me up as well. So what I want to tell you is that we have a hot brew. I'm going to actually ask my assistant to get me reishi mushroom and throw it in this way because I want to introduce a, a traditional Chinese medicine herb. And okay, so basically a hot tonic, something to replace coffee, consists of a hot brew of some sort. I am not using a stimulant right now, but a wonderful thing instead of coffee to give you mental clarity and a boost, but not the same type of caffeine, is something called yerba mate. It's a leaf from Peru, and it is, I buy the organic unsmoked yerba mate, and you just make this as a tea. So if you're hot liquid to the side, what I do is I take my blender and I do the dry ingredients first. And I'm going to use cacao. This one's from the rawfoodworld.com. It's, uh, it's from Ecuador and it's a raw cacao powder. So it's pure chocolate without anything added. And it actually has, I'm gonna use a couple tablespoons. It has magnesium in it and we need magnesium. It also is a vasodilator. So it is opening up our blood vessels so good things can get to our heart, our lungs, our organs, and the good things that we're putting in, we're going to put in one really good thing today, and that is reishi mushroom, which calms the spirit and it's an immune regulator. So it's good for your heart. And since we're using a vasodilator to help the blood and oxygen and nutrients flow to our heart and open up our heart, which chocolate does, it's such a loving thing, reishi mushroom is gonna get there and be medicinal for us. It's a very strong, bitter taste. You do not have to use this. If you don't have it, keep it simple. But I'll use about a half a teaspoon per person. And this will make enough tonic for two or three people. To keep it creamy, I'm going to add, we don't want to use milk, and instead of a nut milk, this is really nice, we add a little bit of coconut oil, a tablespoon, or as much as you want to keep it creamy. And the thing da, 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 that is going to make this taste like coffee is something that I order on Amazon. It's on my website. It's called Dandy Blend. And Dandy Blend is roasted chicory and dandelion root. It's gluten free, so you don't have to worry. And that is because of the way it's been extracted. It removes the gluten. Now, these are little individual packets that are amazing for travel. I use, I buy a large bag of Dandy Blend and I keep it in a glass container so it's always handy, handy Dandy Blend. And, but right now I have the packs out because I wanted to show you the packaging. And it's amazing. You can just have a packet of this in hot water and you really feel like you're having black coffee. And I will tell you that I used to love coffee. I mean, I love coffee, Who do, I love coffee. It just doesn't love me back. So, what a good way to have a hot beverage, still have the same ritual. I'm looking for my little scissor. Here it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna open a couple packets of these. The thing is, is that the funny thing, the game is with on my raw food diet, if there's something that I used to love 
that isn't good for me, I figure out a healthier alternative, and that's exactly what this is. So I'm going to add in a pinch of salt and use your sweetener of choice. I like to use coconut sugar. I realize that's an obscure item. So honey works, agave works. Uh, we want to stay away from refined sugar, please. And if you're totally vegan and you're offended by the honey, use something else. Use a date. Dates are wonderful in a tonic if you're using a high performance blender. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so a little bit of honey. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Got to do that at least once. Okay, so this is what helps you to not use too much of a sweetener. We don't want to raise the glycemic index and have too much sugar in our bodies. So I use a little bit of honey and a little bit of stevia, liquid stevia from Sweet Leaf. Just a little bit, a squirt. And it's a nice combination. I don't like to use stevia alone and I don't like to have to use too much honey. Now in my crock pot, I have been brewing chaga tea, but you can use this yerba mate. You can use gynostemma tea. You can use uh, caffeinated or no caffeinated tea. It's up to you or just plain water. So I'm gonna scoop. So you get to have your hot beverage that is actually good for you. So exciting. If for some reason, by the time you get to blend it, it doesn't feel warm enough, you can warm it up on the stove. So I'll be right back after I've blended and show you how it tastes. Okay, so. It's creamy, it's chocolatey. For those of you who don't want any stimulation, you can use raw or uh, use carob, okay? Carob power, powder instead of the cacao. And you can use a non-caffeinated tea or just hot water. It's that easy, you guys. You can do this, okay? So get off the coffee, get your tonics on. I'm gonna show you how it tastes, hold on. It is so delicious. I really believe that drinking these hot tonics for the past eight years has helped me to stay on a raw food, detoxifying, cleansing, happy, joyful diet and lifestyle. So I will see you soon and get your greens on.